Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning in. This is a uh, first look beyond the introduction to dynamic tanks. Uh, I'm having trouble finding uh, any or much information on dynamic tanks, so I thought I'd start creating my own content. Um, the best little tidbit of knowledge I've ever found so far was on the Technic forums under the Big Dig Mod Packs discussion section. Uh, somebody asked a question and then there were some questions on how to get them to work and so some people bounced back and forth um, uh, with some knowledge which revealed some information to me on how they actually work. So just because dynamic tank information is scarce I thought I'd start learning them and create my own. So I did a little t tiny intro to them. This is just kind of furthering that. We're going to build some. Dynamic tanks are actually part of mechanism, the mechanism mod. Uh, there's the, the dynamic tank, there's the dynamic glass, and the dynamic valve. Now yes, right away it, it's going to seem a lot like Railcraft's iron tanks. Uh, now I, I haven't even played with iron tanks yet. Uh, I've only read a little bit on a wiki about the mod and then talking to some people so I'm, n I'm not an exhaustive source of information uh, but that's what I hope to become so I made some stuff here let's real quick get into uh, making the bits um, dynamic tanks the you can make four of them with four steel ingots and a cobblestone now there's in Big Dig, um, there's tons of different recipes and ways to get around uh, the most efficient ways to ending up with steel ingots. Uh, right now I'm early game, so I'm using way too much coal. I'm, I'm, I'm being very inefficient about it. So to make this the steel one way, an inefficient way, is to use four coal and one iron ingot, and that yields one uh, steel dust. So I'll go ahead and make three and then you stick it in the furnace. You can see I already got some here and then that will give you the steel ingot. Now like I said there's uh, there's other ways you can learn about the efficiency but this isn't so much about the efficiency of it. This is just about dynamic tanks. So, the dynamic tank is, you get your, that's how I get my ingots. You can learn different ways of getting your steel ingots. And then it's four steel ingots and a cobblestone for four dyna dynamic tank blocks. Now, the, uh, I need one more. I got them all, I guess. Now, the uh, dynamic glass is the same deal, only with gl one glass in the center. Dynamic glass right there. So we've got that. Now, the uh, dynamic valve is uh, four steel ingots and a control circuit, which isn't hard to make at all. Uh, you just need four osmium ingots, and that's easy. You can, uh, you can mine the osmium blocks and then stick them right into a furnace or stick them into a pulverizer to get two dust per block to be more efficient about it to get your, and then fire them in a furnace to get your ingots. The enriched alloy is just made from firing enriched iron, which is just two copper dust and one iron ingot to get four of these. And then all you do is you, all you, do is you cook that and it instantly makes that. And then, uh, again, the four osmium ingots and then rich alloy create that. And that's how you get your valve. Now, from what I understand, they work very similar to uh, Railcraft's iron tanks, but they also work differently. Uh, I have a place down here. I'm just going to build a small one to start with. One thing that um, dynamic tanks seem to have over Railcraft's iron tanks is the size limitation. I believe the largest iron tank you can make is like 9 by 9 by 8 or 9 by 9 by 9. But that holds a lot. I think I can't even remember now what it said it holds. I think it holds a little over 10,000 the equivalent of over a little over 10,000 buckets of water. 
uh, whereas a dynamic tank the exact same size is less than half of that so a dynamic tank 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine or 9x9x8 nine by nine by I think it's 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine. Uh, a dynamic tank that size will be I think a little over 4,000 buckets of water but um, I've seen some people on the uh, deciding where to put this we're going to make a small one for now so let's whoops <laughs> I didn't want to do that double but uh, I saw someone on the Technic forum say they believe that you cannot go above 20 by 20 by 20 but they successfully made a 15 by 15 by 15 dynamic tank I believe how much do we have here 17 if we go 4 4 by 4 let's just do oh you know what let me start over because for I, I just want to I think embed the bottom of it I think the bottom has to be solid I'm forgetting exactly but that's part of that's part of what we're doing here we're learning all this from what I read there's a couple people that seem pretty knowledgeable in that short little thread on Technic Forum. So uh, I'm trying to get in, in touch with them talking on that thread. We might need more. Now I think we can put the valve right here. Which for right now will make... So this is going to end up being like a three by three by three, I believe. Right? Yeah, three by three by three. So we're gonna try this. I believe we put the valve right there, and then now I'm trying to think here. What do we do with the tank? Because I think you can have walls. I think we actually can. I think the I think the frame, so to speak, has to all be walls. Maybe I should have built it completely above ground. I'll dig out around it just so. It's not confusing. We'll dig this out real quick here. Okay, so the this is what I'm thinking. So This will be a three by three by three essentially. And I'm wondering if now if the valve has to be at the base. I'm thinking it might have to be. There oh sheesh, I thought I lost it. Hey, Bid. Um, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. I'm actually just doing a short stream. I'm doing a thing on dynamic tanks, and I forgot to. Ch I think I forgot to change my title. Uh, I wanted to have this dynamic tanks thing as a start to learning in depth about dynamic tanks because I found very little information online about dynamic tanks. It's part of um, mechanism. So this is a learn, oh we need one more. This is a learning process for me slash tutorial for those who also want to learn more because there's so little information online about it. 
Uh, there just really isn't a lot. So we need more. Wow. See here, this is how we get. This is why you want to get more efficient at making, at squeezing coal out. That's why things like the grinder, which gives out 350% coal, uh, and then I think you can even use a mechanism enrichment chamber to get a one one to one ratio for coal for coal and steel ingots, or at least steel dust, which I think just fires into steel ingots. So. Um, We're just making some more. What do we need? We need two more. Okay, we have. Looks like we can't, it cut it close, but we're good. So I, I'm going to be doing other videos, furthering my knowledge and teaching about dynamic tanks. Um, this one is kind of after my little intro video I did. This is getting into more of the nuts and bolts of it. We're actually building just a simple small one right now. And I already went over the recipes. This will yield four blocks, just what we need. Okay, we only need one, but it's nice to have at least four. Okay, now I'll get further into experimenting with the um, pipe, things that can attach to it. The small, tiniest bit of info I found, again, like I said, was on the Technic forums. Uh, a couple people mentioned using Liquidox. Again, this is the Big Dig mod pack, but it's the mechanism mod. So, I mean, dynamic tanks are part of mechanism, so it doesn't matter what mod pack you're in. I guess, uh, I guess unless you prefer iron tanks, but again, I don't even have, what am I trying to find here? Uh, what was I looking up? Oh, liquid ducts. I think that's what we have, liquid duct there is glass and copper. So we will get into other stuff like that. I saw a couple people bantering back and forth on the forum about using liquidox with a wrench, you know, to to change the flow, using build craft pipes. Uh, and I think even something, I think it might have been liquid duct or something else, utilizing electrical signal, a redstone signal to be able to pump both ways in, in and out of these dynamic tanks. So what we want next is we have a bucket of water here. We'll start with this one. Um, let's just see if we can access, because I'm not sure if I have the valve in the right place. Whoops, and I didn't want to do that. Done. So, see, I'm not sure that's exactly right. Uh, I'm not even sure if they left the top open. There wasn't one image by one of the posters, which I think I'm going to search for real quick here. Give me a moment. I should have had that uh, up and ready. So now I have to click my way to the forum here and get back to that thread. Here we go. Forums. Like I said, even in the other wikis, I haven't been finding information on these. Even on wikis for mechanism, I haven't even been finding anything about uh, dynamic tanks. Uh, information online seems rather sparse. If there is some there, maybe it's just buried or maybe I'm not looking in the right place. But the only place I found anything substantial was a one little thread on the Technic forum under the Big Dig wait, under the Big Dig discussion section on the official Technic forums. 
uh, and it's only two pages long with only about three or four people involved talking back and forth. Uh, Dark Hunter took me a while to figure it out, but uh, sounds like they pretty much act like Rovecraft. Yeah, it does, considering it makes a sound every time you make it. How do you input output liquid? There's a valve block, but let's see. The valve block, you need to follow the val value rule. Okay, how do you input output liquid with pipes or liquid ducts? You, ha you need to follow the value rule with liquid ducts. Make sure that their pipe has been hit with a wrench and it has a redstone signal like a lever. So just a lever on on a liquid on a liquid duct, I guess, would work. Okay, this guy is showing the valve on the top. But it doesn't look like he has he has solid walls. He's not even using glass, but I saw a picture of someone that made a 15 by 15 by 15 size tank. And of course, it's just a frame with the the uh, dynamic glass in the middle, like in between the frames. And that's sort of, I think that's what I have. I think I have it right. So let's move the um, valve to the top. And then put the ball down there. Okay. Hmm. Ah, the ceiling's not high enough there. Let me dig this out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is test this by br oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. By breaking out the top and middle one right there. So we're gonna Oh it's all now. Okay, now, whoops, let's get this, let's try, uh, do we, I can't see that as being the way you're supposed to do this. I think it had a, 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 a graphic user interface for the tank. So what we're going to do is take out all that glass. Well, first I'm going to get that water. I thought. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take the glass out. Well, I want those two. Just, they're annoying. We'll close that off. I'm going to close all this off. Now there's a guy that, that has an image in this thread. I'm going to take a peek at again. Now I think it had to be hollow and I think that's the way he showed it. So let me take, okay. Give me one minute, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to come back and let me see if anything happens now when I sneak right quick. Uh, let me check this for him again. Okay, his looks like they're only two block high. 
you okay the valve you place on the same level as the tank so I think the tank is being the empty spot I think that's what they mean so we'll try that that gonna do it I don't see any Urgh. okay we're learning we're learning it's a learning process so let me see where these pictures are this person has up oh they're showing a dynamic, yeah, it's a dynamic tank GUI. But this particular tank they're looking at is their gigantic one that looks like the 15 by 15 by 15. That's also the GUI. Okay, let me see if I can surmise okay I think that top block may need filled in maybe that other image is just fooling me and it's an incomplete tank they have so it looks like at least on this person's image the roof and the bottom is solid but I'm guessing it doesn't have to be and the valve they have a bunch of valves because they're doing because they have a gigantic tank so they're using multiple pumps and stuff but what i'm seeing is <clears throat> the valve just has to be open to the hollow any of the hollow parts inside and since we only have one hollow block inside we so we should ha now have the valve correctly positioned and we're out of <laughs> We need one more, and we don't have one more. I think we need one more to close that off. We gotta, hopefully we have what we need here to get one more. Oh, we only have two coal. This, see, this is what always puts a crimp in my attempts to make little tutorials and stuff. We need some more coal. There we go. Four, six, what's that eight we got there? Okay. So we got our cold. Now let's zoom back and make more blocks because we just need one more to fill in the top and that should work. Okay, we've got, whoops, we need, shoot, I wasn't thinking right. Mm. Go ahead and put this in here and get this firing. Do we have more in here? No. Oh, boy. Okay, we need two more, don't we? See how much coal you need? You need four coal per dust to make, well, four coal per steel ingot and four steel ingots. Please be some coal around here. I know I haven't been getting every, oh, how much coal did that give us? Three. <laughs> oh boy. Let me check the lower level. There we go. Tons of coal here. Okay.
might be getting a little extra, but that's okay. Because if if some if I didn't in case I didn't foresee something else. Okay, let's head back up. Finish making the last of our blocks. Hopefully this works now. I don't... We might... Heck, we might have to have a pipe of some sort to pump in uh, the liquid. Maybe you can't just put it in by hand like I was trying to. Okay, this gives us what we need. We just need two more of these. One more. One more. Because it's four steel ingots and one cobblestone. There we go. There they are. Okay. Alright, we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to continue on now. A little bit of a hiccup there, but we've got it. Okay, so... I'm guessing this is completing it. Now, hopefully, that did it. Yes, it worked. Cha-ching! Awesome. Great, 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 that is awesome. Now we might be able to just put a bucket in here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, one bucket equals 1,000 uh, MB. I, I guess that means millibuckets. <laughs> okay, that's great. We did it. We got so that's we got our dynamic tank made. So that's it. You just have to make sure. Now I'm guessing we might lose the water if I do this, but I'm guessing we could still go back and put the, the glass in here. We'll probably lose that water. Glass there. I'm going to try this because we want to see the different ways this works. And then in later videos, I will get more into like pumping the water in and out and maybe even making bigger ones okay now this should still work wow the water is still there I don't know if it will show the water I think it does in the one image I believe it did show the water so let's let's try getting some more water for now and then next time we'll actually start getting into different pipes the liquid ducts and or uh, pipes we can use oh is that bucket still in there let's do this we've got three here Now I believe there's water, yeah, whoops, that's oil, not water. Why is, oh. I keep forgetting to eat. And then I start hearing the myself getting hurt, and the last thing I think of is the obvious because I didn't eat. And I'm like, why am I getting hurt? Okay. Three more buckets. That's what we want. So we'll put three more buckets in and this should be 3,000. And we'll take a yeah, and maybe try to do some of the math and see what we might get out of this. As far as the 3x3x3 three by three by three we just built. And remember, uh, supposedly this stuff can go beyond 
the size of the railcraft iron tanks. Whoops. Wanted to do this. Yeah, the bucket's still there. Okay, so we've got 4,000 or four buckets. So that's four. That'll give us eight. So what, 16 or 17 buckets we can hold in a three by three by three? Now it's not showing anything, but it is working with the glass here. So that's a dynamic tank from Mechanism. Uh, next time I'll look into uh, piping stuff in, pumping stuff in and out. And we might look into in making a, a larger one than this. But, uh, and what else it can hold. I'm assuming it will hold anything. Lava, wh what not. Uh, I'm assuming it will, but I'll find out for sure. And we're going to become experts at dynamic tanks. What I'm liking so far, and now forgive me if I, because I haven't exhaustively looked over iron tanks from uh, railcraft, but immediate what I the little bit I do know is that somebody said railcraft tanks, their maximum size you can build is nine by nine by eight or nine, and uh, I like the idea that dynamic tanks can go bigger, but with still keeping the still keep without adding any kind of cheat factory, you know what I mean? It's just letting you, you still have to build it. You know, it's not like creating a new mod that's basically skipping steps or streamlining stuff further just to make it quicker and easier. I like, I, I, I like the sensibility in, in iron tanks and dynamic tanks. So, uh, Next time, we're, we'll, in future updates, we're going to look into things like, can ta these tanks be combined? Can, like, pumps, be, can pumps or just pipes be con connecting multiple tanks? Well, you know, what kind of systems can we make up? What kind, exactly how do we need to pump liquid in and out? Wh and what kind of liquids will they hold? And so on and so forth. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and, and take off. Um, uh, this was a look at dynamic tanks. So thanks again. Have a great night.